Today's topic is, Aggregate Functions in SQL. What are aggregate functions? In database management, an aggregate function, or aggregation function is a function where the values of multiple rows are grouped together, to form a single summary value. The aggregate functions in SQL are, max, min, sum, count, and avg. Let's understand each aggregate function one by one, with example. The first function is max. This function returns the maximum value of a specific column or attribute in a table. The syntax of using this function in SQL is given on the screen. Now, let's look into an example. We will be using this employee table for the examples. Note that, in the sixth row of table, the salary is null. We will find the highest salary from the table, using max function. This is our output. The highest salary is 52,000. The next function is min. This function returns the minimum value of a specific attribute or column in a table. The syntax of using this function in SQL is given on the screen. Now let's look into the example. We will find the lowest salary from the table using min function. This is our output. The lowest salary is 35,000. The next function is sum. This function returns the total sum of all the values of a specific attribute or column in a table. The syntax of using this function in SQL is given on the screen. Now let's look into the example. We will find the total salary from the table using sum function. This is our output. The total salary is 269,000. The next function is count. This function returns the number of rows, or records present in the table, or in a specific column of the table. There are two syntaxes of this function. The first syntax, that is count star, returns the total number of records in the table. In this syntax, null values are also counted. And, in case of the second syntax, the function returns the number of rows of a specific attribute, having non-null values. Except count star, all other aggregate functions ignore null values. Remember that, null and zero are not the same thing. Zero will be considered as a value in all the aggregate functions. Let's look into the example. First, have a look into the table. As we can see, there are 7 records in the table. So, if we use count star, then we should get 7 as output.
So you can see, we got 7 as output. I am putting the screenshot of the table, on the screen for our convenience. Now, let's use count function on the salary attribute. As we can see, the output is 6. This is because, there is one null value in the salary attribute. Now, let's use count function on the city attribute. As we can see, the output is 7, as all the values are non-null. If you watch the column city, you will see that there are some repetitions of values. Now, suppose you want to know how many unique values are there in a column. So, we can do that, by using distinct function. The distinct function ignores any duplicate values in a column. So, this is our output. There are four unique values in the city column. The last function is AVG. This function returns the average of a specific attribute or column in a table. The syntax of using this function in SQL is given on the screen. Now, let's look into the example. We will find the average salary using AVG function. So, this is our output. As you can see, there are so many digits after the decimal point. Suppose we want to get the output, up to two decimal places. So we can do that, by using round function. As you can see, round function has two parameters. First, the value to be rounded off, and second, an integer value which denotes up to how many decimal places it will be rounded off. The two parameters are separated by using comma. You can see, I have used a keyword, dual, in the query. Actually, dual is a dummy table in SQL which is used to compute constant expressions, or for executing those functions, which are not related to any table. We are computing the average salary, using AVG function and employee table. But when we are using round function, we don't need the employee table, as we are applying the round function on the value which is already calculated by AVG function. So we are using dual. I will make a separate video on dual later. So, our output has been rounded off to two decimal places. See the column name in the output. We can change the column name of the output by using, as, keyword. So, this is our output. 
As you can see, the column name has been renamed to Average Salary. That's all about aggregate functions in SQL. Hope you have understood the topic. Practice some more examples on your own. Thank you.